All right, so the first food source that we are going to be talking about are peepers. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, there's one over there. Okay, so there's multiple reasons why I like peepers so much as a food source. And one of the biggest reasons is how easily accessible they are. You can find peepers in just about any biome from the safe shallows all the way to like the Grand Reef and stuff like that. So for one, they're easily accessible. You can find them anywhere and you can also find them in pretty good numbers because as you can see right now, there's a bunch of peepers just swimming around in this little area right here. So they're easily accessible. You can grab them pretty easily. And they also give a ton of food when they're cooked. So peepers give, I believe it's 32. Um, let's find out right now, actually. Yeah, 32 and then 5. Considering how easy they are to find, how easy they are to pick up, you can find them in basically any biome. Just snag them, or snag them with the sea glide, or you can grab them with the stasis rifle, or the propulsion cannon, etc. They're super easy to get to what the frick was I about to say. They're super easy to pick up, and they give a lot of food. You can find them basically everywhere. So, pretty good, pretty good useful fish to get your food up. So let's go to the next one. All right, the next best food source we got are not these stupid cave crawlers, but it is the marble melons. You can find these, at, f at first you can find them on the floating island, which is what I'm on right now, but this is the only place you can find them. So you have to make sure that whenever you first come and get your water, your watermelons, that, that that's basically what they are. Whenever you come and get your uh, marble melons, you got to make sure you use the knife because if you eat the three marble melons right here and you don't get any seeds from them, then you're not going to have any marble melons for the rest of the game because it's the only spot that you can find them. But marble melons give you 12 food and 14 to your water or H2O, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Now, it's one of the best food sources in the game, in my opinion, because it gives you a decent amount of food and a decent amount of water. So basically, you can use marble melons to fill up your water and your food. So yeah, that's why marble melons are so good. Why I like them so much. The only issue is they're a little more, they're a little less accessible, which is the only downside to them because you have to wait for them to grow and you have to come all the way out here to get them. But other than that, marble melons are one of the best. One of the best foods in this game gives you food and water. So with that, let's head on to the next source of food. All right, the next source of food slash fish we have on this list is going to be the Oculus. Now, Oculus, you can only find these guys in the Jelly Shroom Caves, I believe. But Oculus are similar to peepers, especially in how they look. Because they literally look like purple peepers with like an extra, little extra, uh, tail, tail on the back. Whenever you cook your Oculus, it's only going to give you, it's going to give you 30, I believe it's 30 food and two to your water. Yeah, 30, 30 to your food, 2 to your water, and this peeper just runs, it's run. it's okay. Peepers are honestly better than the octopus, but I still wanted to include them on the list because they do give like 30 to your food. So, you know, the octopus done, let's go on to the next fish. So, Reginald, Reginald, Reginald. Now, Reginalds are going to be way better than pe- Can you move? Hey. They're gonna be a lot better than peepers, and just about any food source in this game, because I believe they give you the most food when they're cooked out of every, out of all the fish and plants in this game. Yeah, so they give you 44 to your food and four to your water. Now that is extremely good because all it really takes is two Reginalds to fill up, to fill up your hunger bar basically all the way. But yeah, Reginald's super good. They're also easy to catch just like peepers, oculus, all the, all the small fish are relatively easy to catch. So they're really, really easy to find and really easy to catch. And they give you a ton, a ton of food, but not a lot of water. So let's go to our next food source slash water. All right, the next, um, next food source we got on this list is going to be the bladder fish. Now, no, we're not going to be cooking the bladder fish because that is a terrible thing to do. A little tip, just a little tip for y'all. Whenever you find bladder fish, I'll never, never cook them because they give you voodoo stats for food. Whenever you find a bladder fish, you're always going to want to use it for water. So with the bladder fish, you can turn it into a bottle of filtered water and that filtered water will give you 20. Yeah, it'll give you 20 to your water. So bladderfish slash filtered water because they're sort of under the same umbrella because you're going to use the bladderfish to make your filtered water. But now when I say food source, I'm including food and water together because I don't want to say food source and then make like a water source video because that just makes no sense, you know, but yeah. So the next water, the next best water source we got on this list is going to be the disinfected water because this is going to give you 30 whenever you craft it instead of 20 from the filtered water. Now the only, the main difference between this and the other one is going to be the way you make it. So with filtered water, you only use bladder fish, which is why it was so easily accessible and it's so good. But with the disinfected water, you're gonna need bleach. Now to make bleach, 
you're gonna need coral tube samples and salt deposits. So coral tube samples, you can find them in the primarily the safe shallows. You see these giant coral tubes, that's literally what they're called. They'll be laying all throughout the safe shallows. So all you have to do is go up to them and knife them with a knife and you will get yourself some coral tube samples. Now to find salt deposits, you're going to want to head, the easiest place you can go is go to the grassy plateaus and look around on the seafloor. And as we can see, I can already see some salt deposits right here. So you got all these tiny salt deposits scattered all throughout the grassy plateaus. Super easy to find and super easy to pick up. So disinfected water is not that hard to make when, when you compare it with the bladder fish. Even though the, the bladder fish filtered water is easier to make, but the disinfected water gives you 10 more. But you do have to do a little bit more like looking around and cook gathering of resources to get in. And with that, let's go to the last food slash water source. So the last, very, very last, and the best water source in this game is going to be large filtered water. Now you can only get the large filter water using the water filtration machine right here. And you can put this machine in your, while having a brain fart, in your multi-purpose room. And as long as, as it's sitting in here, it will just generate you some filtered water. The only, the main downside to this is that it's going to take a little bit to actually make. As we can see, the percent slowly goes up, but it'll do two at a time and it'll also generate salt. So if you have some extra coral tube samples, then you can also make yourself some unfiltered water while you're making your large filtered water or while you're waiting on it at least. So that is the only downside to this. All these waters about to hit one again. Once it hits 100%, it'll make you one filtered water. And again, it can hold up to two filtered water at a time. So if you leave two in here, so it's about to make huh? And now we have our filtered water, very large, and it'll give us 50 water. So it only takes two of these things to fill you up from zero. As we can see, I'm at zero right now. So 50, 100, and now we're full. So yeah, the major downside to this is the fact that it takes quite quite a while i would recommend making like an entire room just dedicated to the water filtration machines because then you have one two three four five six seven so you can have so you can have up to like 14 bottles of large filtered water in here at a time but yeah those are some of the best food sources in the game in my opinion and i hope you all enjoyed thank you all for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace